What's up? This is Ed from iBringBack.com and this is the first in a series of videos where we start with a problem and then solve that problem using Python. So out front the problems are going to be a little bit contrived but as we build our skills and time goes on we'll be able to do more and more exciting things. The first problem we got to solve is that here on my desktop I've got a file that I can't open. Lesson01.py. It's a Python script and Windows can't open it. So to solve this problem I need to install Python. Windows installation of Python is not too challenging a task. I'm going to go ahead and launch a browser here. And we're going to navigate to www.python.org. And we're going to navigate to www.python.org. And this is the home page for the Python programming language. You can get news, you can get documentation, you can get all types of fantastic information material. But right here, we're here to get the software. So I'm going to hit download over here on the left. And you got a few options. 3.3.2 uh, is one branch of it. The one that we're going to use, the most commonly used one by most folks doing things with Python, is going to be Python 2.7 or the, the 2.x branch of development. So at the present time, when this video is shot, 2.75 is the most recent version. I'm going to go ahead and download the Windows installer that matches the specifications for my particular system. Okay, and once that download finishes, you can go ahead and run that Microsoft installer script here. It's going to give you a variety of options. None of these are going to be wildly exotic or unfamiliar. If you'd like to modify them, go ahead. They're pretty well explained on screen. It should take just a few minutes to go ahead and put itself on your system. Now, Windows will be particular and ask me for permission to do this. And I'm going to go ahead and grant it if you get some sort of pop-up asking you if you'd like to allow it to make changes to the hard drive or the registry or something of that nature. Go ahead and read it. Make yourself comfortable and give it the permissions it needs to install itself. All right, when you reach this page with a special thanks to Mark Hammond on it, you've gotten where you need to be. You can go ahead and click Finish, and we can get started. So, we see the icon here for my Lesson01.py file has changed. Looks like we've solved our problem. We can open the file. Let's go ahead and do that. We've got a terminal. Oh, I really like my bring back. Press any key if you agree. The things that my bring back can't teach me aren't worth knowing. Uh, press any key if you agree. Okay. I am seriously considering getting a large My Bring Back tattoo on my neck. Press any key if you agree. Well, I, uh, I, without My Bring Back, my food tastes like ashes. Oh boy. And I can't imagine a world without My Bring Back. Well, it's quite a script. We can show you how to write things like that as time progresses, but that's what you need to know to get started. You got Python on your machine. Next up, I'll show you how to open it up and use it so you can start making things of your own. Again, this is Ed for MyBringBack.com. Go ahead and follow us on YouTube. Like these videos, share them with other folks. We'll bring you information. And man, information is power.